uh, this has an actual saline port over on the side here and you open it up you stick your saline solution in there it costs about 20 bucks for a cartridge and you can get the very very high um, uh, alkalinity or the or the very very low acidity which are have medical benefits there um, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do a little bit more testing. I'm, I'm going over a friend's house to test the Melody and the uh, Enagic at the same faucet. And uh, I'll share that with you sometime soon. Um, I'm just going to skip some of these. This chart will come with you with, uh, uh, with the video so you can look at it yourself. Um, a lot of them are so similar between them. It's, it's not necessary to compare one on one. The cleaning system is quite different between all three models. Um, the Melody uses what's called an automatic post-use uh, re reverse uh, polarity cleaning system and uh, what that does is it cleans it every time you use it after you're done using it. So you don't have to wait to, to get your water. You just use you know, you turn the machine on, use it, and then it'll clean it after you're done. Uh, the Athena uses uh, what's called a DARC system, D-A-R-C, and uh, it's cleaned each time it is used, and it's done uh, during use in such a way that you don't even realize it's being cleaned as you're using it. Now, this is uh, state-of-the-art. They're, they're claiming it is, uh, it's the answer to um, electrodes um, getting... Uh, you know, cake, caked with minerals and um, having to be cleaned. So um, that's that's their claim that it's far superior to any other cleaning system. Now the Enagic uses simple reverse polarity, uh, but you every it, every 15 gallons it automatically will clean itself. Um, but you have to wait while it is cleaning. It doesn't do it after you're finished. Um, pouring water. It'll it'll do it right then. You'll have to stop pouring water while it's cleaning itself. And it takes about 30 seconds um, to clean itself. And um, they also do have what's called a cleaning cartridge that you can purchase and every six months clean uh, put that in instead of your filter and run it. Uh, there's a, a procedure to do to do that. And um, that's supposed to clean the plates so they're back to you know brand new condition every six months now um just so you know amco tech is also uh, uh states that they are coming out with something like that a cleaning cartridge in may or something like that so let's look for that and see if that comes on the market all right um let's move along uh, the filters are quite different on all the machines. Um, actually, the filters are the same between the Melody and the Athena. The only difference between the Melody and the Athena with, um, with filters is that the Athena is a dual filter. There's a filter on both sides. And the Melody only has one filter in it. Uh, they both um, have two choices, though, of filters you can get. Um, you can get the 1 micron or the 0.01 micron. Now the the higher quality filter is the 0.01 micron and they claim that'll that'll just uh, you know f nothing will get through that filter. Well you know I mean that's what they claim. I'm that's um, that's a pretty that's a very fine 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 filter though and um, now they another thing that uh, and the uh, MCOTech company is claiming, the Jupiter MCOTech company is claiming uh, that they have a, a biostone filter, that's what they're calling their filter, and um, that has calcium in it and tourmaline, which is a special rock that further ionizes the water naturally and uh, just boosts up the um, ionization process and ceramic in the filter, all this extra in the filter along with your normal uh, silver uh, impregnated uh, carbon filter. Now um, 
the the uh, GAC filter is basically pretty standard with um, the Enagic. Uh, they don't claim that it's anything special as far as the filter goes. Uh, the thing I thought was a little unusual about um, the filter for the Enagic, though, was the price tag. It's between $90 and $145 for that filter, whereas um, the 0.1 micron filter for the Biostone is $60, and the 0.01 micron filter is $90. So there's a difference in price there. To, uh, it, it appears that the Enagic company is trying to make some money off those filters. A little bit more money maybe than what they're worth. Um, this is just on the chart. I have some of this that I just said, stated by the company, in the company's words, but I'm not going to read that right now. It's too boring. All right, so where are we at? We. All right. Now, uh, what, uh, what does the ionizer come with? Well, they all come with a faucet adapter kit. They all come with a pH test kit and a DVD and a manual, as far as I can tell. I didn't actually see on the Enagic site that the DVD and manual came with it, but I'm, I'm just assuming that it does come with a manual, and I, I, I'm pretty sure they come with a DVD. I'll have to check that out. Um, they all have, are, are powered by transformer and um, the power consumption is quite different and uh, the, of course the Emco Tech people will brag that their power consumption is lower. It's a 110 watt and the Enagic people will brag that their power consumption is higher um, and we discussed that already with the uh, type of electrode plates they have are so much larger that they need the higher power. And we discussed that the both companies uh, have their, their different spiel on that, whether that